We are going to learn how the flow of a program can be controlled using if else, switch, while, do while and for loop. First of all, we can learn if else. Suppose think that I need to print a statement. What I need to use system dot out dot print ln. Ln means print line. Inside that I am going to write uh, result published. Okay. Result published. When I run the program, I will be getting output as result published. See, I am getting output as result published. Now, I am going to create a variable mark and I am going to assign a value 30 into it. So, the data type is int, integer, variable name is mark and I am assigning a value 30 into it. Now, I am going to write the if condition. If, then put a bracket. Inside the bracket, we need to give the condition. So, I am going to write mark greater than 50 then put a curly braces this is a block opening and closing curly braces so inside the curly braces we need to write our statement so i'm going to write s out s out is a short form of system dot out dot print line so if the mark is greater than 50 i'm going to write exam passed so when i run the program what is going to happen the mark is 30 30 is less than 50 so I will not get this statement I will be getting only the statement that is written outside the block okay now I am going to write give the mark of 60 so what will happen it will check the condition mark is greater than 50 or mark value it is 60 60 is greater than 50 so what will happen this will this statement will be executed and also whatever is written outside the block will also be executed let's run the program and see see we are getting both the statement so if means first of all it will check the condition if the condition is true then whatever is written inside the block will be executed now I am going to create a negative scenario by using else put else and put a curly braces and inside that I am going to write the negative scenario that is exam failed so I'm going to put the mark as 30. Okay. So what will happen when I run the program? It will check, first of all, it will check the condition. If mark is greater than 50, what is our mark value? It is 30. So the condition is false. So this statement will not execute. Whatever is written inside the else block will be executed. Then whatever is written outside the if else block, that will be also executed. So the program flow will be going like this. So when I run the program, we can see our mark is less than 30. So exam failed, the negative scenario, negative value. And whatever is written outside the if else block is also executed. So this is all about if else condition. Suppose think that I need to check one more condition. At that time, we can use else if ladder. So before else, we can create one more else if ladder. See, else if. So again, we need to put a bracket and inside the bracket, we need to give the condition. I'm going to write if mark equal to equal to 40, then inside the curly braces, I'm going to write my statement. What is my statement? I'm going to write just pass. If mark is equal to 40, then just pass. It is an LC ladder. At the end, we need to write the else block. Okay. Else block is written only at the end. First of all, we will write if, then if you need to check one more condition, then we can write else if. Then again, if you want to check one more condition, again, we can write else if. And here I am going to write if mark less than 20. Then I will print the statement as uh, call parents. Okay. So this is an else if ladder, if else if ladder. Now I am going to give markers 10. So if mark is 10, how the program flow will be happening? First of all, it will check mark greater than 50. 10 is not greater than 50. So this block will not execute. Now it will go and check the second condition. Mark equal to equal to 40. Whether it is equal to 40? No. So this block also will not execute. Then it will check the next condition. Mark less than 20. 10 is less than 20. So this block will be executed. So if this block is executed, then it will not check the else part. It will go outside the if else ladder and the last statement will be also executed. Let's run the program and see what is the output we are going to get. We will be getting 
our mark is 10 so we are getting output as call parents result published so this is if else if ladder this is an another example of if else if ladder okay when you are giving day as 1 it will check the condition if day is equal to 1 it will print monday now i am going to give day as 3 let's see what is the output we are going to get we can run the program and we can see if day is equal to 3 we will get wednesday as the output see so this is an example of if else if ladder instead of writing many else if we can replace this by using switch i will show you how write the switch keyword then inside the bracket we need to give the variable name so i am going to write the variable name then put curly braces now inside the curly braces we need to give different cases case 1 put a colon okay then enter not semicolon you need to put colon two dots then inside that we need to write monday okay now we need to give the break statement for that we need to put semicolon for case we need to put colon and for break we need to put semicolon now we are going to write case 2 put colon then if it is 2 then we need to print tuesday then again put the break statement similarly we need to write different cases now i am going to write case 3 put colon then i am going to print wednesday now after writing all the cases we need to give the default case if none of them is matching then we need to write default case that is s out in the default one i am going to write sunday okay so when i am going to run the program let's see the day is 3 so it will match case 3 so when i run the program i will be getting wednesday as the answer now i am going to change the day to 2 so when i run the program i will be getting tuesday as the output now if i am going to give day as 7 see it is not there in the cases case 1 2 and 3 up to 3 are there 7 is not there at that time whatever is written inside the default will be executed so when we run the program whatever is written inside the default that is sunday sunday is the output that we are getting for default we don't need any break statement this is another example for switch case here i am using data type string at that time the variable name i need to use inside the bracket and for cases i need to use the string data types okay if i am using string data type or inside the bracket i am giving the data type string then i need to use for cases also the same data type i should not use case 1 case 2 case 3 and all in the previous case the data type was integer that's why we used case 1 case 2 case 3 and all here the data type we are using is string so we are we need to use string here for cases now if the name is messi then i will get argentina as the output let us run the program and see we are getting argentina's output now instead of messi i am going to give neymar and that time if i run the program i will be getting brazil as the output see i am getting brazil as the output think that i need to print number one to five so i am going to write the statement system dot out dot print line then i am going to put one now duplicating the lines five times and i am going to write two then three then four and five now when i run the program i will be getting the output from number one to five but think that there are 500 numbers can we write the system dot out dot print line 500 times no instead of that we can use loops so the first one is while loop put the while keyword then inside the bracket give the condition then put the curly braces inside the curly braces we need to write our statement okay i will show you first of all create a variable number equal to one here we are initializing the number okay so the number is one now inside the bracket we need to give the condition we are checking number less than or equal to five and if the condition is true we need to print we need to print the number let's see what is going to happen currently the number value it is one so here also the condition it will check one less than or equal to five one is less than five so the number will be printed let's see what is the output we are going to get 
we are getting one many times the program is still running so stop the program we are not getting one to five why because we need to increment the number number plus plus okay now let's run the program and see whether we are getting the output from one to five see we are getting output from one to five so first of all the number will be one it will check the condition one is less than five so it will print the number and here the number will be incremented to two then again it will check the condition two less than five two is less than five so it will print two then again the number incremented to three then we'll check the condition three less than five three is printed then again the number incremented to four then four less than five four is printed then number incremented to five five less than or equal to five so it is equal to five so five is printed and number incremented to six now six is not less than or equal to five so it will go outside the loop okay so we will be getting output from one to five if you are writing one statement outside the loop i am writing uh, number value so the last value at the end the number value it will be number okay i am going to print this statement let's see what is output we are going to get we are getting the output from one to five and last the number value it is six so six is not less than or equal to five so it will exit the block and whatever is written outside the block will be executed so this is while loop so in while first of all the condition will be checked then only statement is returned now we are going to learn do while so write the do keyword then copy whatever is written inside the while okay and paste it here okay now after while write the condition then put semicolon don't put curly braces instead of curly braces put semicolon okay so whatever is written inside while we have shifted to shifted inside do keyword okay so in do while case first of all the statement is written then only condition will be checked let's see what is the output we are going to get we are running the program and we are getting number one to five so number is one then it will go inside the do loop number one will be printed the number is incremented to two now it will check two less than or equal to five two is less than or equal to five then it will print number two the number is incremented to three now three is less than or equal to five so three will be printed the number incremented to four now four is less than or equal to five four is printed number incremented to five five is less than or equal to five so five is printed number incremented to six now it will check the condition six less than or equal to five it is not e less than or equal to five so it will come out of while and it will execute the final statement that is outside the do while block so in do while case first of all the statement will be written then only condition will be checked now we are going to learn for loop so first of all we can comment this okay then we can write the for loop keyword then inside the bracket we need to give condition then put curly braces inside the curly braces we need to write statement so inside the bracket we need to give three condition first one is initialization here inside the do while in do while case we have initialized outside the loop right so here we are in, initializing inside the bracket int number equal to one we have initialized put semicolon now we need to give the condition number less than or equal to five that condition we need to give number less than or equal to five put semicolon now the incrementation part number plus plus number plus plus see inside the bracket we are giving three things first one is initialization then we are giving condition then we are incrementing now s out we are going to print the number let's run the program and see whether we are getting number one to five see we are getting number one to five these are the three loops in while first of all condition is checked then only statement is returned in do while case first of all statement is returned then only condition is checked in for loop inside the bracket we are giving everything initialization then the condition then we are incrementing the number 